So we're going to see how to embroider over Tunisian stitch. So many of you will wonder how this is done and I'll do a small demonstration here so that you know how it's done. We do have a tutorial on the Tunisian stitch but here it goes just in case you don't find it. So I slip, I slip knot, my slip knot there and I, I'm just going to make 10 so that you know how it's done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is going to count. So let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have to take one off because the one on my hook is counting. Yeah, but I have to go into the next one. Okay, so there we have the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so and then I go here onto the next one and pick it up and into the next one and pick it up and leave it on your hook. So pick it up and pick it up and pick it up. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now I have my ten stitches. Four, five, ten. Okay, so the first one, you just take it off, yarn over, and take one off. From now on, you're going to yarn over and take two off. Yarn over, take two off. Yarn over, take two off. Yarn over, take two off. Over, two off. Over, two off. Over, two off. Over two off, and you always work only on this side. You don't you don't turn. Over and two off. Now I have this one on my hook. This one counts as one, which belongs to this one here. So I go to the next one, which is this one, the one that is vertical, like this. So go in there and pick it up. Go in there and pick it up. Go in there. And pick it up. So we do the whole thing here and I'm going to show you how to do the first stitch again because a lot of people get confused about the first stitch but this is easy. So now I have my 10 stitches. The first one yarn over and take one off and then take two off, take two off and so on. Anyway, I have it right here on this one and this is the way it looks. Look how pretty that looks. Very nice for they it all it's also called the Afghan stitch. So I have this one here is the number one. I go in there and pick it up. So I have 20 here. I am not going to make the 20 because I already showed you how to do it. So this is the way it's done. I have 20 stitches here and I will embroider a heart because it's Valentine's. Hearts are good for any time anyway. So I made a little sketch here of a heart because I have this paper very easy to do. So I am going to cross stitch it and since the first one is the easiest one to do. That's my heart there, but I'm going to turn it because that one is the easiest one to do. So you are going to on these as a square from here to there and from here to there. And you can see, you can see the, let's, let's get something. Can you see it better, Anna? You can see the little holes there. Mm -hmm. So, so that's the way you embroider it, and you go in here, 
and do your first one first cross stitch and then of course you go into the next one it's not like I'm an expert on cross stitch but I really want to show you how it can be done I have students that are very good at cross stitching but hey well anybody can do it I'm not going to look at the back because that is when you know if a person really knows how to cross stitch so let me see now I have three now I'm going to go and do five see all the, the people that cross stitch all their stitches go on the same direction but it's going to happen but see I'm just showing you how it's done one and I'm following my sketch here so I have one and three I made my three then it's one two three four five which is some what I'm making right now one two three okay four five And it's very easy because it's it's very obvious where the holes are. So I go in there. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And let's see what the next one is. Yeah, next one is seven. So I go into one of these, one more. You are a good cross stitcher because I would have to like take the needle to the back first to figure out where I am before I can put it on the next hole. Well, I, I know how row. to embroider. That's something that we can do. We can make a series of, of embroidery because it is something that's very nice and you can embroider a lot of things on knits, beautiful flowers. Instead of doing this in tertia or in tertia, whatever it's called, I think it's in tertia. So, so you have to do like once, like facing one way yes. and then the cross. Yes, if you want your stitches to look vertical in the back, you have to do that. See? Mm -hmm. And it's just because like that, they are all turning toward the same side. And they should be turning toward the same side. Since I decided that the top one has to look that way, all of them need to do that. I mean, if you want to look nice. It's not a requirement. So, okay. I'm not doing it right. I should have done one more. So we're going to do a close-up. Anna just told me that I needed to be slower. So see, you can see the squares. The squares is from here to there and from here to there. So let's do... Uh, there we go. And I'm doing it against the light so you can see them better. So, let's get that one there. I go to the next one and bring it down. And see the holes are there. There, there, there. So, right here. And we go down. Because in the back they're all like that. So we go like that first. We go from this hole to the next one. I think you see it. And so from here to the next one. And then, see the holes are there and there and there. It's very easy to embroider over Tunisian because it is the, the, the stitches are very obvious. See them there. And you can see them when, when they go like that, when they go vertical. 
that is where your stitches done so there we go on the next one and then we're going to do our seventh because the, that's what the heart is see we are right there so we have seven So you see where the hole is on the next one? Right there and then there. And now I have to come back because all the stitches need to be that way. And I go into the same the same hole that I went that way. So I went I go right on the next one because it needs to cross and down completely uh, horizontal because it's your starter hole for the next one mm -hmm. so let's see on the next one see I have one two three four five six seven I need to make one more that means I need to make nine I'm almost out of yarn so I need to get some more. I'm going to finish this row. So I changed the yarns. I put a new one so I go to the next square. So I, I if I go from here I cross it. See it's right there. Let's see against the light. Do you see it Anna? Mm-hmm. Is it is it a uh, so it's right there. I go right in there. Mm -hmm. I go to where the other one was. And then, mm -hmm. yes. So I go to the next one. And to the next one. I'm sure that some people already know how to embroider. I'm just like. I know how to do it, but I, like the little trick of putting the needle on the next one already, I was it was hard for me to picture it well, until what now. Hap yeah, <laughs> what happens is that a lot of people that knit do not embroider. And now, what what if you want to make like a heart for Halloween or a bell for that Christmas? Yes. Yeah. You know, and one of those things, and these are very nice things, for example, if you make uh, round things for the napkins, you know, little things, and this is just a square, you can do whatever you want, uh, I'm just showing you how to embroider over Tunisian stitch, but uh, it depends on your project, you make a small thing like that for putting around your napkins you can buy them already made and just glue them around and you can do a lot of stuff you can embroider your blanket your Tunisian blanket you can do your uh, initials like yes a monogram yeah and you know I used to needlepoint a lot and do bargello and what I used to do I used to um, design my own needlepoint and the way I did it sometimes is to take patterns cross stitch patterns and just do it in in needlepoint you know on only one way which which is that way it, it always is like this so I used to see like a pattern like this and I would just do this part and I would there's so many patterns for cross stitch that you can take anything and embroider over Tunisian any any pattern you see and there's thousands of them everywhere so a lot of people do beautiful things I'm thinking you can probably em embroider some really cool stuff over uh, burlap. Yes, but burlap you have to be careful because it's itchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not for wearing, but for the yes. core. Home yes, decor. for decor. Yes, like for example, if you have your cup and you want to put something around your cup, 
and you embroider it and then just take the you know strands off the burlap and it would look very pretty put your cup your burlap embroidered and that would be nice so you know this is just a matter of imagination so let me see what the next one is the next one is the same so we go down and do the same thing I want to take this moment to thank all of our viewers that are sharing our videos thank you so much for sharing our videos I've noticed a, like a big spike on people sharing our videos so thank you thank you thank you so much for that please tell your friends about our tutorials because we really enjoy making them for you we have a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> Anna and I are a good team and I know I'm working on the website I know it's not extremely up to date but at least we have these really awesome communities on YouTube Google Plus and Facebook so <laughs> And Pinterest, oh my gosh. On Pinterest, I promise I'm going to make that tutorial about the plastic bottle really, really soon. Because <laughs> it's crazy how popular that is. And I looked for the website where it's pinned from. It's this Russian lady who makes really cool stuff. But of course it's in Russian, so I don't <laughs> know what it says. <laughs> yeah, but, but making it, you know, you make it. L like there's a lot of tutorials in Spanish. And, and we can translate them, just do it in English, because yeah. we speak Spanish too, so. Yeah, I think some people want more videos in Spanish from us. Yes, too. but a lot of people that see the tutorials in Spanish and want to know what they're saying in English. So, you know, we can translate. So, mm -hmm. let's see. We have are two rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's two rows of nine mm -hmm. right there and right there. And then on the next one we have to make four, skip one and make four. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes. And now four on the same row skip one and four. So let's do that. We go four, one, two, three, four, skip one, that means I have to go like this. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Confusing! <laughs> it's not going to be the same as all the others. Hey, I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do now? <laughs> so, one, <laughs> two. <laughs> We're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm thinking like a beginner, you know? <laughs> Like, so, I, I haven't done this one, at all. One, two, three. I used to think about silly things like this when I started four. knitting. I'm like, what am I going to do here? <laughs> we all do. Even, even me. You know, sometimes you come to a point and you go, oh, now what? It's okay. Yeah. So I'm going to change yarns because it's really tight here. Let's see how our heart is going. Mm -hmm, so cute. Isn't it cute? Look. Mm -hmm. So let me change yarns and I'll be back. And of course, you know, you have to center. I, I, what I did is I started embroidering. But of course, you start the one right in the center, which is there, but it's okay. So let's start again. And now we have, we skip one. And we have two, and skip three, and then we have two. So let's do that. We do one, and two, and then we skip all the way here. And we 
go one. And there's a lot of patterns on, on the internet. There's a lot of patterns for cross stitch. So go find one because this I just made myself, just put it there. And I looked on the internet for, for a heart, but there were like little spots without cross stitching it. And that I didn't want. I just wanted a real plain basic. heart. Yeah, basic, basic. So there we go. Let me get this one here to make a little knot with the one that I started with. And I am going to cut my yarn. And since, you know, usually the back you don't see it, so it doesn't matter. You can use some fabric glue and put it there. Anyway, that's the way it looks. Very simple. So Isn't cool. that cute? It is. So make it cozy for your cup. Let, let, please lend me your cup. You have it right there. So. Yeah, you just need to measure your cup and yes, and make a little swatch to determine how many stitches you need mm -hmm. per, mm -hmm. and we, per we, inch. Yeah, and you say like, okay, if 20 stitches give me 5 inches, how many stitches do I need for 10 inches? Well, 40. So, you mm -hmm. know, you determine like that. And you make your cozy around your cup. And or you can make a tiny little baggie, you know. You make a rectangular piece and then fold it in or half. For you, or for and your then... iPhone. Or for your... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So a little bag for change or for your makeup or for whatever you want to. So this would be nice if you have a, like a little makeup case and you buy it at places like Ross. Dollar store. At the dollar store mm -hmm. that has the zipper already mm -hmm. there. You so you don't it. have to mess up with, 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 you don't have to mess with zippers or anything. Just you make a little front, the back of the purse, sew it, you know, the, the two of them, On and the then side. just make... A little crochet around the top which is it would be something like this this I don't have my crochet hook here but this would be the top oh you just tighten it mm -hmm. well what you do is that I am just going to show you how to do that let me get that out of the way Go in here and make a single crochet along the edge. Like so. And then you can make a back single crochet. Let me show you how that is done because it looks very nice. Let me get this out of the way. And of course, you can pick up the uh, the uh, vertical ones if you want to. Those I'm just doing this one like this because I like it. Get some more yarn. And this is a very nice thing to, of course, making believe that this is the top. You know, I just want to show you how the stitch is done. Because this is something that you can do on top of your um, cozy for your for your mug. mug. Yeah. Okay. So now we ha we're at the end. Of course, it's like make believe that you're doing a round. Make one, and then go into the next one, but backwards. So there. Do not turn there and take off single crochet go into the next one right there bring it up and take it off 
go into the next one, take the, t the, the whole chain up and take it off and then go to the next one up, take it off, up, you know, take it up to the edge because you don't want to do it right here, you know, it, it, it's too tight and the trick is to make it nice and tall. Look how nice that looks. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, we're learning three things here. <laughs> the Tunisian, stitch how to start, how to make it, how to end it, and how to embroider it. You can do a lot of things with Tunisian. You can do a lot of things embroidered. So this is kind of like just decorative or is this part of how to finish a Tunisian stitch? You can finish a Tunisian stitch like this, but you don't have to. Oh, this is kind of like just decoration? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is, for example, if you want to make a, a, a bag, a purse. Mm -hmm. with Tunisian. This is the way you finish it. And it looks very pretty look. Mm -hmm. Nice. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That's your heart for Valentine's. We love you. Mm -hmm.